Welcome, I say. I'm Aviev Chaotic Reunion once again. And here we are back in the Witcher Enhanced Edition. In the last episode, we did quite a few things, include one thing, including attacking a cave infested with a ton of plants, and uh, burying a dude and meeting up with some kind of specter, and we must give it something that... We must give it something, but it's not something we expect. And then we told Alvin to go see Abigail, because that's who's taking care of him right now. And all in all... That was pretty much the gist of the last episode. In this episode, we should probably go see Mikkel. Because we completed his task, we also need to look for Kalkstein. Because we completed his specific quest involving Ghoulblood, and I can't turn it into him because he's not lounging in the inn where he was when we first saw him. We didn't speak to him, though, so that was a, a thing. Also, this is one thing I could talk about. If you recall, Geralt ran faster than this the last time we were in the other episode. Once I, like I said, he kind of randomly decides the speed. I, if anyone can tell me what decides what Geralt's speed is, please, I urge you to let me know. I, I, I haven't done much research on it, but like, I, it's always felt random. Like, what determines his speed? In fact, I think uh, when editing this episode, I might look into that. And I know I say a lot of when I edit this stuff a lot, and sometimes I tend to overlook it. That's because there's a lot, like editing, I sometimes just overlook things when I'm doing it. So it happens from time to time. But enough about the post process, enough about Geralt's slow moving speed. Uh, we're going to go over this way and turn in the quest to Mikkel and see. Salamandra lackeys? Leave me be. I won't surrender my workshop for all the treasure in the world. Oh, you'll give it up, Gramps. Or else. Or what? A witcher! Kill him! Not likely. Oh. Combat. And burning bridge. Yeah, Hang on a minute. Witcher. You should have left Salamandra alone. This bridge will be your grave. Okay, well, we're surrounded by people, we're on fire. How about some How about some group style? Alright, well, first things first. Oh my god, Geralt, I didn't ask you to take out the weapon. Alright, alright, hang on, we're running real quick. And we're doing this this way because clearly I am incompetent when it comes to opening up my inventory. What I want is Swallow. There we go. Geralt, come on, please. Geralt, function. Thank you, Geralt. Alright. Now we can attack properly, and group style would be the way to go here. Alright, cool. We're killing people. We are succeeding. This is a thing that is happening. Did it! We won! And the framery dropped, because fire! Thank you, Witcher. You saved me, and my laboratory, my beakers, my treasures. Anytime. I know all too well what they're after. To use the stolen secrets, Salamandra needs equipment. Without it, the Witcher's mutagens are useless. They almost grabbed Kalkstein and his treasures. They almost succeeded at Kaer Morhen. Almost makes a huge difference. If I had stayed and fought the Frightener with Vesemir, I might have faced a different threat today. They were here for me. I made a choice some time back. Had you known this would happen, would you have chosen differently? No. It was the right decision, and I'll deal with the consequences. I'm not surprised at your answer. You don't seem like one to look back. Visit my shop in Vizima for any ingredients you need for your potions at a discount. Farewell. No, 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 farewell. Oh, no, 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 we need to talk. Damn it. Shouldn't have defended the old man. You come talking again. What are you going on about? The old man comes here and talks and talks. Gives me a headache. I'll stone him next time. I wouldn't if I were you. He's a powerful alchemist. Uh, Captain said, only admit those with passes. 
I know, I know. They're moving me to Millgate tomorrow. That's where I'll stand. If you have a pass, look for me there. All right, then. So, we have buried memories. I must see Mickle at the Miller's Gate. And, well, we have two things to do here. First, we talk to Kalkstein. How dare he call our club a band of senile old men? I'll appeal it in writing. What brings you here? That was weird. Okay, so what that is is that's the, the this what we're seeing here is the the normal conversation where people will talk and you respond to them and they're not supposed to be in set positions. The other thing was a cutscene where he's in a set position, so it kind of does a bit more cinematography in its movements. Ugh. They say you need ghoul blood. Do you have any? Relax. Pay first. I need that blood for my research. All right, cool blood given to Kalkstein. We and we received 100 orins, which is whatever. And we received the basics for alchemy. Hang on, that actually could be useful. All right, glossary for additional substances, which is nice. All right, they got any loot on them? They have those, and we'll take these salamander brooches because that'll be useful. Ooh, and pa powder. I have to sneeze, and it won't come. Hey, two. Oh my God, sneezing. That was a thing. I apologize. I may not edit that out because I'm a lazy person. All right, let's take all this stuff, and there's it's still in my nose. It's there. It's taunting me. It's taunting me evilly. I'm a professional, guys. I swear. No, no, I already have a dagger on me, so I won't have to worry about that. All right, Mickle, buddy. Hmm. Uh, I got rid of the ghouls in the crypt. A hundred thanks, master. Here be a month's pay. Ooh, the boys will be happy. <laughs> they plan to search for treasure in the crypt. Take a pick to one of the walls. I found a young woman's body inside. The ghouls came for her. Young woman? No. It can't be. My Elsa, I, I, I loved her. I wouldn't know her name. It appears she poisoned herself. No, no, no! It was that vile witch! The devil's whore poisoned my Ilsa! No! I'm sorry for your loss, but I need to know about Salamandra. They have passes, they do. The only ones, leave me be. You have the evil eye, you bring bad tidings. Be gone! Don't forget to tell the Reverend I got rid of those ghouls. Farewell. <laughs> Elsa, my love. Well, I've earned Mickle's trust, which is great. I must talk to the Reverend. However, talking to the Reverend will just move things along, and I, I don't want that. I'll take the, I'll take the beer. I don't know. It's, it's bothering me that there's loot on the ground, and I know for a fact it's mostly useless loot. So uh, we won't worry about that. I gotta say though, this, the view you definitely get. If you haven't noticed, I've turned my view distance up, mostly because I kind of want to have the full view distance. Uh, it's very useful. Um, the frame rate's gonna suffer. I'm pretty sure it's not the game itself. Like, my game would run fine, uh, like this. It's Fraps that's uh, pretty intensive and doesn't appear to agree with this specific software. Um, uh, such as a game, another game I probably could point that out with is Fallout 3. I tried recording that for a test once and it went from, like, 90 FPS to 20 and I couldn't increase it no matter what I did. So, some software just doesn't agree with this specific software. Or, some games don't appreciate this software. I couldn't tell you. All right. Enough about equipment and frame rate, like a PC nerd that I am. Um, we have a game of dice. I know the poker basics, time to put them to use. Uh, if I want to play some serious, I should beat the three players, Odo, Haran, and Mikkel play. Alright, so we know these people play. Uh, let's go see Odo, then Haran, and then we'll try and talk to Mikkel again, though he looks like he doesn't like us anymore. Uh, that could be just an idea of waiting for the next day to pop up when he's, you know, he's pretty dumb. He'll forget all about us. So we'll be able to go and do that. Anyway, I'll meet you over at Odo because I don't think you want to see me run this slowly back over there. And so we have arrived at Odo's reference, uh, residence, not reference. And there's the fatso himself. Let's go talk to him and, uh, get his, get, get, uh, let's get him. Playing. He re refused this last Speak time, but now we actually have a quest with him in mind. All right, so... Odo, it seems you wanted to cheat Mr. Gervant. What? When? Weed it out, you hypocrite. 
Zoltan told me you play dice gladly. Speak your mind. Now! I caught him! I've caught him in the lie, weeded out, he's drunk still, clearly, let's play poker. So, last time I went for the maximum amount, with the luck involved, I'm just gonna go and try and beat these people, and let us begin the one thing you probably will see over and over again, because it's mostly luck. Let's play dice. And you get to enjoy the theme, because it's a theme that I kind of bounce back and forth. forth. Six high straight, and he has a five high straight. That would mean I'm winning, so we're gonna scare him with a bet. Come on, don't accept that. We win! Next round. Alright, let's roll some dice. Go! Ah, uh, pair of ones. That's what I have. What does he have? He has a pair. He has a pair of fours. Ugh. We're gonna not bet anything. And we're, we're just gonna try and uh, beat that out. Mostly because we can. And we have a round to play with, so... Ugh, I got nothing. I still got a pair of ones. He got me. He has me. He's not gonna roll those fours. Yep, as I figured, he's not gonna roll the fours. And he got... I thought he got another extra pair. D did he not? No, he got a five. I was That was not a four. Alright, let's try this again. Come on, Odo. You're gonna lose! There's a pair of sixes and a pair of ones. So I got two pair. And he has four of a kind. <sighs> oh. Um. Oh no. Uh. Pass. No, we're gonna we're gonna redo this. Take two. And uh, guess who's probably not gonna cut all this out because it's important gameplay. No. <laughs> And because I'm, I'm lazy and this is actually a lot of fun, and if you... I I swear, I hope this is in uh, The Witcher, the next Witcher game, because it's in 2. And it's a little more interactive in 2, though more interactive in a more annoying sense sometimes. Alright, come on, give me something. It's a 3. I have 2 pair, and can't do anything else more with that. Don't you, don't you beat me out anywhere. Woohoo! Next round. And let's roll our dice. Three of a kind's not terrible. It's ones, but... Oh, and then he has three of a kind. Wonderful. Of course he does. Alright. Let's roll these dice. Boop. Come on. Yes, yeah, so it's a one. Four of a kind. Alright. Now, does he... He's gonna roll two. That's obvious. Don't get a six. Yes! Shut out. Alright. We defeated Odo. Now to find our next opponent, which, can you guess? It's Harren. I, I already said this. Actually, can I... Oh, uh, no, he won't let me rest. I'm not inside, and for the same, at the same part, he's also, like, kind of against you seeing me. Probably because I also cheated him, in a, cheated him out of money. So, uh, let's go and uh, see Harren, then. Hello, Haran. Buddy. Witcher. Our mutual friend Zoltan sent me. So he's g got you hooked too? Clever little r runt. You've no idea w what you're getting into. W worse than fist tech. Relax. I only play when I want to. That's what they all say. So, shall we? I'm playing when I want to, guys, I swear. I swear. <laughs> Let's roll the dice and uh, beat him out. It's essentially going to be the same game, because it is. Ah, oh, sweet! Three of a kind sixes! <gasps> Look at that! And he can't beat me. Let's scare him with a- let's scare him with a bet! Hooray! He won't accept that bet. That's a good opportunity. Whenever you're leading and you got a nice lead on them, uh, raising an, to a bet that you think they won't take is sometimes a good idea. Idea. He's got two pair. We're not gonna bet anything. He'll probably try and raise it. No, he's gonna accept it. All right. So let's just take these three and re-roll them. Go. 
That's two pair with two ones and two twos. Isn't that... No, he has a pair of fours as well. So he beats me in that one. Because he just has higher values. Go, my dice! What did I even get? I got a pair of threes. That is what I got. What does he got? Uh, and also he has a pair of threes. So, essentially, I know for a fact he's going to roll his three dice. I'm going to roll my three dice. Anything good? That's a three of a kind is what I get. Three of a kind threes. And don't do it. Yes! I've successfully beaten Harin. Hooray! Now, sadly, I'm fairly certain Mikkel won't talk to us still. Because he's like, I'm a Ilsa. You know what? I guarantee you he was like... He forced her. He forced him on her. Himself. Like... You really... Like, she poisoned herself. <laughs> and I don't think Abigail did this. He would, she, I, Do you think she would kill a woman to get to... Mickle just for probably trying to seduce her or not even seduce probably just force it like again he does not seem the seductive type uh he probably was like i want to stick my penis in he's like zeus in many ways also he doesn't appear to be here anymore he is he gone yeah he's already at the mill gate hang on a minute that's on the other side we're running backwards i will see you at Mickle. Alright, so we've made it to Mikkel, which is literally just at this gate over here. You take a right instead of left to go to the cave. So, let's hop over here and talk to Mikkel. Wait, really? My love. I can't play him? Wait, what? Oh no, did I screw this up? Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on a beautiful minute. That's annoying. Alright, so we will be fine in not playing him yet. There's opportunities, I'm sure, later on. And the mill's locked, which is great. Um, you know, I actually plan to knock this out. And be like, I am the best at all this. But, if that's the case, then uh, we need to go see... Uh, shoot, I plan for that to be a thing. Alright, so we must talk to the Reverend, and we should talk to the Witch, and Salamant, the Witcher's Secrets. I should talk to the most prominent residents of the outskirts of Sephiroth. So this is the general quest line. I've already done this, this, Berengar's Secret can't be done uh, just yet. So literally I just had the game of dice, but now let's go talk to the Reverend since he's right over there. But that's really awkward. Like, I, I planned it so that this episode would be the one, and I had no idea that... Ilsa would be a problem. Darn. Uh, we'll get a chance to talk to him again. I promise you. There there must be a way. Like, probably a little later. Just a little later. It's, it's just all. It's just, it's just it. He'll cry. He'll be done crying about Ilsa eventually. Anyway, there's the Reverend. Let's go talk to him real quick. And then probably end this episode off. Because I can't. Speak quickly. Odo's and Heron's monsters are gone. For Mikkel, I cleared the Crypt of Ghouls. I must admit I'm impressed. You may yet defeat Salamandra. To do that, I need to know where to find them. I will say nothing until you eliminate the Beast Witcher. That is my condition. I'll see you later. Well, uh, I talked to him and it's right back to where we are. We need to go talk to... Abigail, and I say in the next episode of The Witcher Enhanced Edition, we will most certainly go do that. I apologize that this episode was a little odd, considering that it was mostly spent doing dice and a little bit of increase in story. But I wanted to get that out of the way. Sadly, I hit a roadblock in terms of doing that, which is a little awkward, but it will be fine. I've been Aviv Chaotic Reunion, and I'll see you all in the next one.